Good morning, it's Maureen Legas with the 21 Days 2015 series. We're on day two with your tech tidbit, and we're talking about getting your KW profile to 100%. So we're gonna discuss for a minute why that's important and show you how to do it. All right, when you first sign into your MyKW account, your profile picture appears up here on the left side. Now I'm signed into the demonstration account for the Market Center and you can see that the demo account has a profile completeness of 48%. So it's not even halfway complete on that profile. So you want to sign into your MyKW account and check your profile completeness. So why is that important? Well, what happens is KW will give us a list of items that they would like us to update for our profiles and that list has a certain percentage of completeness that are associated with that. So let me show you that list. Okay, get your profile to 100%. So we have different fields in the KW profile that are weighted differently. Now those that are um, uh, not critical, like a team name, you might not be on a team, have zero weight, but you can still update those fields. I have this color coded in orange and blue, um, not because I'm a gator, but I am, in orange and blue, and down here on page two, it will tell you that the orange is for the white pages, and the blue part is for the other section on your profile. I'm gonna show you where that is in a minute. So um, first, let's go and look at why it's important to update your profile. All right, the first reason it's important is if you have a consumer, a buyer or a seller trying to find you. So if they go to kw.com and they're gonna search for an agent, they might not know the agent, so they might search to find an office. Um, and either way, if they knew the agent, it's going to end up in the same place. But let's say I want to find an office near um, uh, Denver, Colorado. Denver, I type in Denver, and I'm going to go to Colorado, and I'm going to search for offices near Denver. And it's going to give me a map of those offices and a whole list of offices. So let's say I pick the downtown Denver office. I'm going to click on that, and I'm a consumer again looking for an agent. And when I get here, I'm going to look for all of the agents. And so I'm going to look at about, let me see where the agents are located. It might be our brokers. I'm going to click on our brokers. And this is going to show all of the agents in the office. And the agents have photographs. And that's positive. When you have a photograph, people can connect with you. So if someone is looking for an agent, they're going to look for the picture first and see does that person look like someone I can connect with. If you don't have a photograph, camera shy, they're going to skip you. So that's one reason that you want to have a photograph on your profile so that someone can find you um, when they're trying to look for an agent. Now, if the office has a different setup, their website is set up differently, let's, let's click on Denver Central. And so the office is set up differently so I can look at our agents. And I can click here to see all the agents. And it's going to show all of the agents in a row here. Now, let's say a realtor is trying to find another agent, goes to kw.com, and they come through. When they see photographs, they might skip that agent. If they see photographs and they also see that their website is x374yourkwagent.com, they're going to probably skip that agent because they are thinking that that agent is not well connected. If they find agent profiles that also have yourkwagent.com but has tried to customize them a little bit, they still might skip them. They might be looking for someone that has a photograph and also has a customized site set up properly. Once they find that uh, agent, then they might dig further and look at that agent's profile. Now let's see what a KW agent would find when they go to search for another agent. So let's say a KW realtor goes into the white pages and looks for an agent. So let's see what they find if they were to click through on this agent that does not have a photograph or the KW site set up. So we are back on the MyKW page and down here on the lower right side, we're going to see some quick links, including the KW white pages. So I'm going to click white pages 
and it's going to open up the directory and I'm going to look for an associate, click the associate search, and I'm going to look for Denver, Colorado again. Denver, Colorado. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to search for the agents there. And I'm going to look for that agent that did not have their picture set up and did not have the uh, address changed on their profile. So I'm going to click that agent. And so now you're looking at this as from the perspective of a KW agent looking for someone else. So I look them up here and I can have a phone number. They don't have the mobile phone number set up for texting. They don't have a biography, any URL for their email, for their Facebook, Twitter, no blog, no Google Plus, no LinkedIn. They have nothing really set up here. All I have is an email address. So as a KW agent selecting an agent, I might skip this person, which might be unfortunate. They might have a spectacular uh, website that they purchased from an outside source, but they haven't set up their profile on KW. So it's critical that you fill in the fields and get to 100% so that all these fields are filled in properly when someone goes to search for a referral partner. Otherwise, you might be missing referrals. So let's look again at how to get your profile to 100%. So we would need first name and last name set up here in the white pages. Your street one, not street two. Your city, your state, your zip, the country, business phone, a mobile phone number, your text carrier so that you can get text messages, email address, your image, picture of yourself, and don't put a picture of your dog, a picture of a logo, put a picture of yourself so when people are looking for a referral partner, they can connect with you. Um, whether you want to display your website for customers, now I have a lot of people that say I've updated my profile and when I search kw.com, I can't find myself. Well, you might not have it set up to display for customers. That's one thing you wanna do. Once this is set up, go to kw.com, search for yourself, make sure you're found and make sure everything is exactly as you expect it to be. 5% for biography, languages, it's at least English. If you have other languages, you put that, that's 1%. Specialties, service area, a slogan, designations, your blog, all of these things are critical. So we're going to go to the white pages and to the my referral section of my KW to see how that gets set up. Okay, we're back at my KW. Um, there's no photograph here. Next to, prof next to the photograph would be the word profile. We're going to click that and that's going to take us to the profile information. And so to, in order to add a picture, you have to go to the white pages. So the two areas that um, impact the 100% is the white pages, my KW information, and the other, my referral information. That will, that's what we found on that sheet. Um, that showed us what was required. So let's start with with the white pages. We're going to click to edit and Then right up here Upload agent photo and that's where you can upload a picture For the profile that's a I think 10% and then you want to come down and you want to make sure everything else is set up properly here mobile phone number um, you put your mobile phone number here with your carrier so that you can get text messages a biography about yourself. You can copy it from one of your websites. Your display for kw.com. So what um, email address do you want to display for your profile page? Your Facebook URL. Now, uh, this is where some people make mistakes. I'm going to make this a little larger. The system here is going to tell you what it needs. So your Facebook URL, it doesn't want your whole Facebook URL. It just wants the part of the Facebook URL that follows Facebook.com. So the easiest way is to go to Facebook, click on your name in the um, upper right side, and then at the top of the page in the address bar, it's going to show the URL. Now, it's going to say Facebook.com slash, in my case, it will say Maureen Legas. So it's saying just give me the part that follows slash. So I would type Maureen Legas. Um, it doesn't want the whole Facebook URL. So where people go wrong on some of these URLs is not reading the instructions. Same thing with Twitter. Twitter only wants the part that follows twitter.com. So go to Google, search, like I would search Maureen Legas Twitter, and it would tell me what my Twitter URL is. I would copy only the part that follows the twitter.com slash. 
and put that in this box. YouTube, same thing, it tells you what it needs. It wants the whole YouTube uh, video. So you want a video to display on your page um, that will just des des describe you, talk about you, that someone might want to watch prior to picking you as their agent. So you put that and you put the link to that video. Your Google Plus account, it says it only wants the part of Google Plus that follows plus.google.com. So it's probably a number, a zero, you know, a long number, something that follows that. LinkedIn, it says it wants LinkedIn, the part of LinkedIn URL that follows LinkedIn slash in slash and so it might be your name, it might be a number. Then you click your languages spoken. And then these other fields, do you want to display um, previous brokerage? Do you want to display on kw.com? You wanna make sure to click yes for agents that wanna display. Now, if you have an admin that's listed as an agent so they have access to your eEdge, you would not display those admin as agents on kw.com. You have an email address and then any of these fields you fill up and you save. All right, once you've saved the parts under um, under the uh, initial piece of the profile, we're gonna go to the referral section. So we did the white pages. Now we're gonna go to referral, we're gonna click other. Now the other part is you want to update my leads and IDX as well. You want to update them, but they don't impact the profile completeness. So I'm going to click on other, my referrals edit, and I'm going to go in and make sure the team name, it doesn't count for anything, but if I have a team name, I would enter that. Now go back and forth between the sheet, the information sheet, that shows the percentage of completeness for each field. You put your specialties, any designations, your slogan, add service areas, right here, click to add them. Um, your website, and again, this shows um, inaccurate information, things that I wouldn't display, and this is because it's the demonstration account. I'm not using an actual account here. And you put whatever you can in here, and then you save that as well. And then once you save that, you can go back to MyKW and see if your profile is now at 100%. Okay, right here you would see if you're at 100%. Now, I didn't make any changes to the demo account, so we're still at 48% but you should see 100%. If you don't, let's say you see 96%, then you can go back to the sheet and see which one has 4%, you're missing 4%. Which of the fields are worth 4% or which of the fields are with, worth two? Do you have two fields worth 2% each that didn't get updated? So you can kind of uh, narrow down on what's missing from your account. Okay, so we talked a little bit about the xj135yourkwagent.com. I'm going to show you really quickly how to fix that so that you're displaying your proper website address. So I'm going to go here where it says my marketing. I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to go to manage my e-agency website. That's where that's updated. And I'm going to click that. When I come in here, I'm going to go to section 2.0 and then 2.4, edit site information. Drag it down, and right here, it's gonna say hosting. And under hosting, it has a number that you've been assigned for your website. If you still have a number there, type something in there that makes sense. So if your website, in my case, if it's called Maureen Legas, then I might type Maureen Legas, so it says Maureen Legas, whoops, it has to be a, a web name, no spaces, dot yourkwagent.com. If you have a business like um, we have Florida Gulf Coast Group, I might put that in there, dot yourkwagent.com. Now, the thing is, although you'll never really use this to point people, yourkwagent.com, that is an address that appears in the background as people go through your e-agency site. So you want to have something that makes sense up here that matches what your website name is. So I have an alternate website, and my alternate website is floridagulfcoastgroup.com. So I would type here, HTTP, Florida Gulf Coast Group.com, and that's the alternate website. That's my that's a domain name that's custom that I picked to point to 
my website that I want to show up on kw.com. And so because it's floridagulfcoastgroup.com, I'm going to put floridagulfcoastgroup.com up here in this name instead of that XJ135. So that way, if someone is on my page and they go to a secondary page, this is what shows up in the address bar. We don't want to mask it. We don't want Florida Group gulfcoastgroup.com to show up as the address for every page because Google can't see those pages. We want them to be separate pages. So, um, it, and it does that when we don't mask this custom domain name. That's a whole other lecture. But anyway, the alternate website, if you can have that match what goes in here, that is even better for the consumers. So here it says website status. In this case, it's disabled because this is the de demonstration account. It would be active in your case. And website to display, this kind of wraps around. I don't want to display my e-agency template, which is this. I want to display my alternate site, which is this. So when someone goes to kw.com, show them the pretty custom domain names. So you want to click alternate. And once that's done, you fill in the rest of this information, click save. And now your alternate, your nice domain name will appear on the kw.com sites, if that makes sense to you. And keep in mind that the website that's displayed here, your alternate website, does not have to be one of the KW websites. You might have a WordPress site that you've commissioned, um, some other site that you want to point here, but whatever you want them to find when they search kw.com for you, that's the site you want to put up here. All right, so let's look one more time at the list of things that bring your profile to 100%. Okay, so these are all of the fields that you need to fill in to get to 100% on your profile. Remember those that wait at zero do not matter, they're not important. Those in orange are the first column, which is the MyKW Info. Those in blue are the second column, which is the other My Referrals column. So let's go through that, look at that and then refer to this when you're making those changes to your profile so you get to 100%. On the IDX page, you can enter your um, IDX's Internet Data Exchange. That's the search tool that you use for your website, and you can uh, enter that information. And then if you find that you don't have accounts set up for Facebook and Twitter, just go to www.facebook or Twitter, go to wordpress.com to set up a WordPress blogging site, and then find your URLs from those sites to add to your profile. And now you should be at 100%. All right, thank you.